just began her fourth season on Unhappily Ever After on the WB. Please welcome Nikki Cox. I'm, I'm doing great. Good. Everyone's happy you're here. Oh, I'm, I'm happy too. <laughs> yeah, very nice to have you on the program. Oh, How you doing? You. I'm doing good. I'm, you know, my breathing is slightly restricted in this little getup, but I'm doing good. <laughs> <laughs> I expect that would, you might pass out at any yes, time. it's possible. I so, might pass so out at any me. time. <laughs> oh, no, that's the desired effect. I wanted to sport cleavage that rivaled Fabio's, so. Did you see the episode when he was here? Yes, I did. It was frightening. He had more boob than most women I've seen. I he just felt, had I giant felt breasts. so inadequate. Yeah. I felt like a he, lesser he woman. He has man boobs and, and, and I, powerful I, I, man boobs. I felt like a lesser woman. I really did. <laughs> I was sort of sad. I kind of went, aw. Uh, mm. You're doing fine. Um, <laughs> Thank you. Let's, uh, let's start with your, your name. It's, it's yes. like a real, like, kind of a heavy metal rocker name, that's Nikki Michael. Cox. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, my real name's is it, Nicole. Oh, the, oh, okay. Yeah, but that's just way too formal. On my live, somebody calls me Nicole. I say, what did I do? Uh -huh. so, um, so who changed it? You, you decided to change it to Nikki? Well, my parents just did just because they got tired of saying nothing. You didn't do anything. So mm -hmm. that's the last name. Uh, <laughs> it's, 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 it's Cox. Mm -hmm. Don't say a word, please. I've been hearing about it all my life. Uh, yeah, yeah, I've been, I've been hearing about it all my life, but, you know, the good thing is, if this, uh, if this acting gig doesn't work out, uh, add three X's to the end, and, uh, I could strip. <laughs> you know, you, you have a safety net. At least I got that. Uh-huh. Total of four. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Hot, hot, hot. yeah, that would work out just fine. Yeah. Uh, let me talk about because I, 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 um, when at times that I've seen your show, the audience uh, makes a lot of noise they're, on your program. They're a crew. Especially when, when you make your entrance, there's six minutes of when you enter usually you know wearing something akin to this yeah uh or smaller if yeah. not smaller if yeah. that's you know possible. possible but you walk out there and the audience is just they're very vocal i know it's kind of creepy huh what kind of well no i don't know it it, well, it makes it sound lively anyway but yeah. what kind of people are you getting in the audience uh marines mostly mostly <laughs> marines uh, uh -huh. there, there are some of our biggest right. fans they really yeah. like us and prisoners uh, on furlough yes, they <laughs> are there too. our uh -huh. incarcerated friends are always always good uh, -huh. uh sometimes we get audiences quite by accident on uh, one occasion a, a single guy bus got rerouted to our show so they're they're sitting out there and the you know the warm-up guy goes out and says welcome to unhappily ever after and all we hear is oh god i hate this show <laughs> oh. oh no oh, oh not this no, so. no one really did they really do that yeah. oh yes oh yeah oh man well you had i mean uh, when when your show first uh, came along i remembered the press uh, your, your show <laughs> there are some similarities to Married with Children. Yeah, yeah. And I know when Married with Children first came along, people were not kind. No. You know, the, the press loves to just attack yeah, they do. A, a new show like that, and especially one if they think it's at all lowbrow or anything. Yeah, which how, it is. Yeah. How has is, how is the press dealt with you guys? Well, we're not exactly their little darlings, to say the least. Uh, you know, the first season we went to the big TCA meeting, the big Critics Association meeting, and we walked out there and we're chanting, we're 99, because that was our, <laughs> our Nielsen rating, and uh -huh. they didn't think it was very funny. Uh -huh. and, uh, they got they, mad, oh, really? Oh, yes, and they, they laid into us in every way possible. So, what can you do? You just try not to listen. But you're having a good time on the program yeah you yeah. enjoy doing how many years has it been now uh gosh three, is it just th it's three, three years, three years yes. and this is the beginning of the of the new season yeah it is it all started. right well tell me about your dad we just got uh, about a minute left but i wanted to know about this it intrigues me you don't quite know what your dad does I for a living i don't quite know it's like some kind of top secret government computer thing and when i ask him he says you know if i tell you i'll have to kill you <laughs> seriously so i so you choose, have no, i choose to remain ignorant that, that's so strange that you don't know what your own father yes, does for yes, a living i know Maybe he's a stripper. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I bet you that's it. He's ashamed to tell you. Right. It's a government thing later that night. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Come on! He's like with a little bow tie. Maybe it's a fender. A lot of government stuff. Yeah. Well, uh, Unhappily Ever After is on the WB on Sundays at 8.30 uh, p.m. It was really nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Come on back sometime. Uh, yeah, good to see you. Nikki Cox, everybody. We'll take a little break. We'll be right back.
Okay, everybody, that's our program for the night. We want to thank all our guests. Stay tuned for later. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>